Now that our models are imported and properly aligned, we're going to click Continue to Bridge Design. In our Teeth Surfaces panel, we can see our different surfaces that we could toggle on and off. And if the Teeth panel if, is not available, we could go to the Panel dropdown and choose Teeth STL Surfaces Panel. We are now going to click on the Add Tooth button in the top horizontal toolbar. Click the first tooth that we want to place and then hold down the Shift key to multi-select and click Additional Teeth. We could click the relevant size and we can notice that our first tooth that we selected is in bright red. That tooth is going to be placed in the location of our left click in just a minute. Now we're going to click OK. And now I could rotate the view by using our, my left mouse button to grab and drag. But when I hold down the shift key and left click, I'm defining the place where that bright red tooth should be placed and the other teeth will be placed accordingly. And of course, this is our initial positioning. So we could go ahead now and use the widget and use the different tools to improve the initial positioning. And we don't have to worry because just in a minute we're going to be able to fine tune the placement of each individual tooth. So this is our initial rough placement. Once we have this placement done, we could go over to the teeth edit panel, select one of our teeth and click manipulate model. We could then use the widget to move and to resize and rotate any individual tooth. We could also just grab the tooth, grab it and drag it. A good idea is to right click on the model and click toggle transparency. Now we could go ahead and for any individual tooth, rotate, grab one of the nodes to resize, move the tooth and go tooth by tooth to create our tooth positioning. In this situation, we have our tooth set up imported as well, so we could use this to help with our positioning. We can also check the positioning in relation to our, our opposing model and make any modifications as desired. We could also use the arrow keys on the keyboard to move the tooth slightly, almost pixel by pixel, in the relevant direction. Now, I've intentionally left a very slight space between teeth five and six, as we'll discuss the option of creating a bridge in that situation. Well, we could see that the other teeth are slightly touching each other and we'll see how to create a bridge in that situation as well.